In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire up the Capo NM532. Okay, I'm just preparing the uh, wires here. I've just got a tin that a uh, red wire, so I'll get that done, and then we'll move on. to be about right okay so we back out again this is the equipment I'm using a set of precision screwdrivers I've been using a knife and it was just to cut back this outer casing because when I looked at this mic the blue wire wasn't connected because it had been used on a 6900 and I'll explain more on that in just a second I'm just looking at that as well and I think I might just touch that blue wire because it's got a, a whisker of wire hanging off it like to tell you that's a lot better but I'm sure that'll be okay right I'm also using this is actually a, a, a DC clamp meter but you know voltmeter whatever I'll show you the function of the wires and how to test to see which one's what. Okay, these two, when you make a circuit, the buzzer goes off. This wire here, I'll have to zoom in for you here. This wire here with no outer sheathing, that's your common it could be written down as screen or ground okay I notice there's a little whisker there that I don't want either now they call it well this is why I believe it's called common because it reacts with two other wires I'll just demonstrate the first one the blue wire there's a circuit between your common and the blue permanent circuit there that is what you call your RX wire okay some rigs when you pull the mic out uh, you don't get any receive on the 6900N which was, this was wired up for they receive without a mic so this wire was cut off so I've had to uh, cut back and redo the wires so this is your common, this is your RX wire and I'll just show you the TX wire. Okay you get the message. The white wire is what we call the TX wire. That's the one that makes your rig transmit. So this is really simple this guys, you've got your common, your white is your TX, your blue is your RX which you may or may not need depending on what rig you're wiring it up. So that leaves one wire and that is your audio wire, that's all you need. And for those more observant of you will notice there's no battery in this but that's no problem. So let's say you're going to wire this particular mic up to a rig. You know what all the wires are. Now before I show you my little diagram, if you use a meter the way that I have, you can test to see what wire does what. And that way you can forget about what colour they are. I mean, alright, if you're wiring up a capo, you now know 
got your red is audio, white is TX, blue is RX, but you can find that out on any mic. Now quite often your audio wire might be white or it might be yellow. But if you check with your meter, process of elimination on this particular one, dead simple, four wires, we've identified three your common, your RX, your TX. The other one has got to be audio. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to wire this up following this little diagram that I've made. Now, when you see diagrams online, all the ones I've seen, look a bit like this, the little dimple is that piece there now I always work with that bit facing towards me and do the diagram like so so I hope that might have cleared up something for any of you that weren't sure whether it was the rig socket or the mic plug so let's get soldering. I'll zoom in and I'll try to keep me soldering in shot as best I can. Now I will say that I've already slid the other half of the, of the mic plug over. Let's touch up the iron a bit. And I'll start bottom right hand side, which is your audio. Now, I'm not doing this the easiest way to be honest. You can get a pair of what I call helping hands. I haven't actually got any of them. Obviously be careful not to burn yourself so that's audio wire on next one I'll do the screen it's quite difficult actually zoomed in so far I'll zoom out a little bit more just to make it easier on myself hoping at the same time that you can maybe see what I'm doing Next one is blue. I've got a little stray wire there that I'm not happy with, but we'll overcome that. The last one is a TX wire. Okay, assuming I'll just show you, I mean, it's, uh, my soldering is not the best, if I'm honest. This little piece here, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a little spike. I'm going to get rid of that. But I've seen worse, you know. I'll just use my uh, knife to cut that little spike off, because them little spikes can cause your problems. Uh, where was it again? Just there. Stray piece of the braid. I don't really want that floating about in the plug. 
maybe take care of that off of camera I'll just reassemble uh, the mic plug plug it in the rig, put a battery in it and let's see if it works now I will tell you in a minute <coughs> well we'll tell you in a minute that this wiring diagram is for a Fidelity 2000 I believe it's the 2000 yes it is now the 2000 uses the same mic wiring as rigs like the Amstrad 901 Harrier CBX Rotel RVC 240 etc etc so it's what we call Cybernet wiring same If you find your soldering is really bad and you've got lumps everywhere, clean it up as best you can. So when you put the uh, mic back together, that you're not shorting out anything. Now on this one, I will actually wind a little bit of black electrical tape just so that the uh, cable grip grips onto it well. that should do it it's just another little tip this tiny little screw here when you take it out of the mic I always put mine here put it put them somewhere safe because if you leave them on the side only you've got to rest your arm on it, it sticks to your arm, you lift your arm up, it falls off, goes on the carpet, never to be found again. Let's see if we can't get this back in without losing it. You can see that maybe let I take my word for it, it is in there, yeah. There you can see it. So yeah, the long and short of it is when you put the when you take one of these apart, don't lose your screws, put them back together properly, and they will give you better service than if you sort of cut corners, lose screws, they'll end up being pulled out, the mic will be cutting out and everything so <clears throat> I'll just pop the battery in this mic and see if it works okay it's testing time just turn on my receiving rig one two one two there you go the capo NM532 wired up and hopefully, if you watch this, you might come away with a, a, a feel a little bit more confident about uh, wiring up your next microphone. Thanks for watching, guys. Look out for the next video.